Hey everybody, welcome to Contra Thoughts episode 19. We're going to talk about some more persecution coming up. All right, so episode 19 and um, yeah, persecution in Canada. The, the theme, the national anthem is, Oh, Canada. I don't know how it goes, actually, but I know, Oh, Canada's the thing. And I always think of that when I see stuff like this, and I'm like, Oh, Canada, what's wrong with you? Like, you're literally like China. They're now arresting buildings, and they've been doing this for a while. Um, like, they arrest the building. And it's not just meeting indoors, it's meeting outdoors. And I've got a few videos um, that... We talked about that. Persecution with Arthur Pulowski, per- persecution with, uh, of course, James Coates. I didn't really cover him because he got a lot of press and a lot of people have looked at him and I just kind of missed it. Um, Pastor Stevens, Tim Stevens also. Uh, I did that a few a few episodes back as well. Canada is just, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's the, the, can- the, the Canadian spirit. I know Canadians are very nice. Us Americans were not quite as nice, um, and I'm thankful for that. Canada still got they got Parliament. They don't have a standard. They're not you know representatives and senators like we do. But man, they're just they're just. It's not good. I mean, it really isn't good. There's an article here um, from ChristianPost.com. Jesus is worth it. Jesus is worth it. Ontario Church fined $85,000 for worship service, violating lockdown orders. So this is now. This isn't like last July, right? Or last April. And they're like, forget you, forget this. You know, we're going to be flagrant. We don't care about science. We don't care about health. We don't care about anything. No, no, no. We're talking 15, 16, 17 months into this whole thing. And yet this place, Trinity Bible Chapel, has been arrested. The building's been arrested. They've been meeting outside and they've been still fined, right? So a lot of churches, a lot of people, secular people, well, you know, you just meet online. Well, just meet outside. Just do this and that. What about all the stores? What about all the shopping? What about all the all the Costco's and the this and the shopping, shopping malls? And are they not meeting inside? Are they all having to drag everything outside? And well, only, only 25 people. Excuse me, ma'am. Only, no. Maybe. Are they? I don't know. Canadians, are you guys, anybody watching this? But Canadian pastor whose church has been fined over $80,000 a second time for holding worship services. This is in Waterloo Trinity Bible Chapel. $35,000 for the church itself. $10,000 to the pastor, Jacob Riom and Will Sherman. Probably how you say that. Also $7,500 for other people. Thousands and thousands of dollars. Really, Canada? Really? He says, worship services are not ours to give up. They belong to Jesus. He purchased purchased his worship with the price of his blood. Amen. And this is where I am thankful for churches like this. I'm thankful that these churches exist because who else is going to stand against the tyranny? Is Costco going to stand up and be like, this is unacceptable? And they've got money to lose, right? They should. And I'm sure, I know some businesses have. I'm not saying they haven't. But $80,000, $85,000? They can have social gatherings to 25 people, it says. As a part of step three, outdoor gatherings and events can have up to 100 people. Ooh. And indoor gatherings can have 25. As if that matters. I mean, remember, Canada has less people than California. And it's far bigger. And they have like almost no infections, let alone people dying from this. It's all about government control. Stand against this, especially those in Canada. Please, please... Continue to stand against this. Be firm in this. Take to the streets like the Australians, right? Or the French. Or those in many other countries that are opposing the lockdowns, opposing this. Because our freedom, our God-given freedom, the government doesn't grant our freedom. It doesn't grant uh, anything like that at all. Conscience, you cannot compel somebody to believe something. Nothing. It doesn't work. It never, ever works. Government. Get it through your head. It doesn't work, politicians. It just doesn't. You're going to lose. You always lose. Whether now, in the short term, or in the long term. So this is encouraging. Here from ChristianPost.com, Jesus is worth it, Ontario Church, find. This is a short video. Uh, I just wanted to basically just touch on this briefly. There's so many other times 
Um, so many of the pastors, we need to be praying for these churches that they will stand firm in the gospel. Be thankful, especially if you're in the States, that you have the freedom. I have the freedom. We do whatever we want here in Kentucky. Not only do we rejoice that our extravagant worship services have given us opportunity to lead many people to Jesus, as it seems we learn of new people every week who have been saved during this time of persecution, but also now our extravagant worship services have furnished an opportunity to bear witness to the worthiness of Christ before the Superior Court of Ontario. Oh, end quote. That's good. That is so good. And make no mistake, I just preached through Acts 4, and um, this is... True. This is a reality. This happens. This isn't new. So rest assured, this isn't new, uh, viewer. Don't think, oh, no, 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 this isn't new. But look at Acts 4. Look at their attitudes. They got before the Sanhedrin there, Peter and John. 71 of the elites, the power brokers of of the uh, Jewish establishment. Paul went before Caesar, the Praetorian Guard. He used the opportunity. These men are using the opportunity here. James Coates. Um, Stevens and many of these other people as well. They're being a lot. People are praying for them. People are sending the money. People are hearing the gospel and being saved, coming to faith in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, being saved from sin and washed in his blood and given new life. Praise God. I hope this finds you well. Uh, please like and subscribe. The whole goal again is to help you be against the world for the sake of the world. That's my goal here. Thank you again for subscribing. Many new subscriptions uh, over the last few weeks. So thank you. Welcome. And uh, again, take care. We'll see you next time.